Absolutely. Now, next, we're going to take a look at another form of weather. This involves the climate of the entire planet, and it was an event that really inspired our eye reporters to come together to try and make a difference. <laughs> Almost 3,000 cities and towns around the world turned off the lights for the third annual Earth Hour to raise awareness of climate change. Major landmarks like the Eiffel Tower in Paris and New York City's Empire State Building went dark for an hour starting at 8.30 p.m. local time. In the Philippines, Makati was named the country's official Earth Hour flagship city. Ryan Baron and his friends witnessed the festivities at the Philippine Stock Exchange on Ayala Avenue. The Philippines had more communities participating in Earth Hour than any other country, with almost 650 registered cities, towns and districts. I reported Jim Sun and his friends were at the W Hotel in Beijing during Earth Hour. At 8.30, the hotel sign went dark, the lobby and bar were lit with candles and lanterns. The Karma Kandara Resort in Bali also got into the environmental spirit. General Manager Jorge Monhi says his resort wanted to do something unique for their guests, so they created a candle-lit 60, the Earth Hour logo. This is the Human 60, formed by university students at Malaysia's UCSI. I reporter Camila Shamsuddin says celebrating the event made students more aware of their individual effect on the environment. This year, the world's first global election is taking place. An election between Earth and global warming. The campaign was promoted on billboards and television as people were encouraged to, quote, vote for the Earth. We're aiming for one billion votes for Earth because our planet is worth saving. Social networking sites also played a role. Earth Hour is just a perfect fit for these social networks like Twitter that are super focused on getting, you know, one singular message that anyone can understand out to the world and then allow the world to pass that message around. Some critics, though, say Earth Hour is just a marketing stunt with no real value. I reporter Jimmy Diol says he has friends who deal with power outages daily. Oh, come on, this is a way of life in Southeast Asia. The government there imposes conservation. Um, every day, power cuts, a way of life, like hours at a time, maybe half a day, all day. You know? People just get used to it. People um, kind of work around it. Despite the criticism, Earth Hour ambassador, actor Edward Norton, says the purpose is simply to raise awareness. No, it's not an act of conservation. It's not um, meant to say that by doing this, we're going to solve the problem. Uh, I think it's a symbolic act of, of, of global unity, of, of highlighting the number of people who, who do think that this is one of the central issues of our time. Organizers are hoping Earth Hour can have an effect long after the lights are turned back on. According to their website, the result of their effort will be presented at December's Global Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen. You know, I even participated in Earth Hour. I updated my Facebook status and I even got some grief from people saying it's a waste of time. Oh well, to each his own.